informational video about this time if your recliner is broken how you need to fix it now the way I went about this was a fir original first I was trying to fix my recliner because every time I go to lean back it won't catch and stay locked back so First, I went underneath and tried to see if anything was bent under there, you know, straighten, it, straighten anything up that could, if it was. That didn't work. Second, I kind of seen what the problem was. One of my fucking, one of the rods was kind of bent off instead of directly lined up with the teeth. It was more like this. Only catching like one of the teeth instead of both. So I tried straightening it up and then electrical tape in the part that straight. That didn't work. So, what I did from there is... I went, I'll show you this here in a second. It's pretty, pretty engineering in my standard, especially for a man named I'm Drunk Yell. So what I did here, flip this around. Oh no, that's not how you flip this around. So this is the recliner. And like I said, every time I go to lean back, it wouldn't stay locked. It just kept rocking back and forth. It wouldn't lock anywhere. So after I did the tape thing to the bottom there, I could feel it like it was so close to catching, and then it, eventually it would catch. But if I lean forward and put too much weight forward, it would just go. Like it was just right there on the balance line, the just a little bit off balance this way, and not it wouldn't stay back. So what it ended up doing to fix the problem was I took this chair. Oh, and I took that katana. And then I stabbed a hole, two holes on the back there and took some electrical tape, ran it through, tied it to that chair to, uh, count, I guess, put in a counterweight to make sure that when I was leaned back, I didn't have too much weight forward and it would fall forward. But that wasn't enough. It's kind of hard to see in there. So what I did was I ran out of electrical tape at this point. I took a full beer and put it there on the top and then I gorilla taped that to it. So that way, I had enough counterweight. So when I sit down, had enough counterweight so that when I sit down, boom. And I can sit here and rock and the motherfucker won't fall. And there you go. I've done the video if your grill's broken, how to fix that. And this is another genius idea by Jeremy D. Glass, a.k.a. I'm Drunk Y'all. Hopefully soon, which I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all because a lot of y'all don't know. I'm actually trying to legally change my name to I'm Drunk Y'all. I'm in the process of it. It's been a lot longer process than I thought it was going to be. But I'll keep y'all updated on that. And when the day comes that it is legally I'm Drunk Y'all, oh, you bet your ass that there's going to be a video talking to y'all about that shit. I'm drunk y'all out. That's all I got for today. Remember all y'all out there. Stay drunk y'all.